Okay. Uh, we're back to Sky Factory 2.5. I've got a little bit of an issue with the cow thing still, but it's not the same issue. It's a different issue, and it's in a good direction. So, um, I spent the last day looking up recipes for stuff and fixing this uh, AE system here. It kind of is working now. I can auto craft stuff. It took me a little while to get it to work. I don't know why it's working, but it is, so I'm not messing with it. <laughs> but I literally made like every block, like every uh, terminal, uh, a bunch of these like cables and all the parts and pieces and like this little auto crafty computer matrixy setup thing and a pattern maker thing. And I don't know. Anyway, it works. I can now auto craft stuff. And inside of here, I made uh, so far I've made one each of a 1K storage component, a 4K, a 16K, and a 64K. Made patterns for every single one of those, and I also made a pattern for the storage housing. So I'm going to start uh, auto crafting. Um, whoops! I'm going to start auto crafting the 64K storage units to put in here. Uh, the storage cells and uh, putting them into slots whenever I get enough materials to actually do all those and I need to find out how to put like a furnace or a redstone furnace or something next to these somewhere so that it will use the furnace I think it has to be next to this any interface um, but I need to find out how to use a furnace uh, adjacent to this system so that it will export something that needs to be cooked, cook it, and then bring it back in. Uh, and I think it's through those ME interface blocks right there. Or the storage bus, I'm not sure. There's like an import and an export bus. Anyway, still got a little bit of work to do on this. Uh, but, let's say I want to make one of these, uh, well, these gold logic circuits. I just click on it, it sets to 1 automatically. If I need more, I can hit plus or minus change the amount. I hit next. It shows you here in the um, what's in the inventory and it says hey I'm missing this quartz cutting knife. Uh, so the cutting knife is in there. It's right there. Somewhere in one of these blocks it says hey you can substitute items for other items that do the same thing but I don't know where to turn that on. I found it and then I took some stuff apart and put it back together and I don't remember where that thing was but I've checked a lot of this and I can't find it there's like a button on the side that says accept substitutes if anybody knows where that is uh, bi-directional partitions clear settings I don't know there's nothing here if anybody knows where that setting is let me know I also have like a stack of uh, blank patterns in here so I can make more patterns if I need to anyway so this is like it's kind of working but kind of not but if I need to make um, like this little 1k storage thing let me take this one out because I've got the recipe for it and I tell it to craft another one I have all the parts for it I just tell it start and boom it's got one so there's a new one right there so anyway so this halfway working still needs work. If anybody knows where to set the accept substitutes thing, let me know. I don't know where it went. So it'll use the like partially broken quartz cutting knife. It doesn't keep trying to find a brand new one. But so the little the little thing I need to do right now. Uh, thank you to now I have to go look for the name. Give me a second. Da -da -da. Give me just a second. I actually want to quote the name here. Uh, Floxari, F L O X A R I, yesterday said, Hey, work more with Ender IO. It's the best mod for conduits, pipes, machines, you know, whatever. So I was like, Yeah, uh, I was actually looking at them. I looked up a bunch of tutorial videos, and nobody said, hey here's how you put a filter on this pipe 
and I really needed it for fluid pipes for these cows for this system here uh, because the other ones were like fragmenting and stuff but I couldn't figure out how to put filters on these well it turns out there is no filter for them until you get to the third tier the actual ender the ender fluid conduits then on every single one of these little nodes that attaches to stuff you can filter it whitelist or blacklist or whatever so I had to go and uh, set those all up and they're really really useful but it took me a while to make these pipes so I went ahead and made a whole stack of them used all but one of them <laughs> uh, redoing this entire system it's pretty much the exact same setup that the other pipes were it's the same pathing and everything but the fluid teleports from where it starts to the tank it's supposed to go in and if you notice these are all kinda of full because we have a backup in the system so this is like a full tank of manillion the node is also full of manillion there's an ingot in the cast which it cannot remove because the node moving the ingots is also full and the chest that there or the auto crafter is totally full of ingots of stuff so um this chest also full so here's what I need to do I need to make an ender chest put it there and I'm gonna make another ender chest and put it over here somewhere and make a row of caches and there's gonna be ten of them uh, across the top of here to store the metal blocks in much like we're doing the ore dust and the gems and things over here I reorganize this a little bit so there's more floor space it's a little bit more compact. It's uh, up on the sides, so it's not in the way. I mean, I can fly, but you know, it looks better this way. Uh, I might move these over one more space to be flush with this side here and move this crafting table maybe around to the other side or just kind of embed it in the floor in the middle of the room here. I don't know. It's a very modular system. But so, ender chest over there. I'm going to put an ender chest over here somewhere, export out through pipes and uh, sort out all those ingots and I mean the uh, blocks of metals uh, also in was that today's episode give me one second now I have to look at that so Team Canada which is Etho, Vintage Beef and um, Pause and Pause are also playing Sky Factory this is I guess today's episode uh, Etho cast a block of iron from the smeltery and then couldn't break it back down into ingots so these here I made all with a cast a basin and they work like I can break them back down so I don't know what's going on with their game I have since lost the crafting or the uh, casting basin it was right there like a long time ago uh, but whenever my inventory got deleted several episodes back it was in my inventory that's whenever I lost my tool set and some other stuff because I was trying to clear my chat window because um, I was gonna start doing computer craft stuff and then I accidentally deleted my entire inventory so anyway still wanna do computer craft stuff after the ME system that's my current uh, like roadblock so uh, let me sleep off this rain real quick that's gonna like kill the uh, bit rate for the video anyway oh another thing my mob system thing was backed up today look at all these loot bags in here these thumbcraft bags are going crazy also I got a bat bag I think my mob grinder killed a bat in there somewhere and I got a bat bag uh, if I hit use for this it says the only thing you can get out of it is a spawn bat egg but I'm gonna leave it there because that's kinda cool and I've got a little chest here that's already got a bunch of these loot bags in it so uh, let me go if you let me know blah 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 if you guys wanna see me open these on camera or not uh, they're just kinda stockpiling in here right now also I wanna get into these dimlets to make little dimensions because that's what you can do with those but um, that's a mod I don't think I've actually used. Somebody was asking me about modular storage, if it's better or worse than the AE system. And basically my opinion was that 
Um, the AE system is harder to set up, but once it's actually running, it's far more useful than the modular storage, whereas the modular storage is a lot easier to find stuff in than like normal chests. But you can do the same level of searching through a modular storage system than you can with the AE system. So um, that's more complex, but you get more out of it. The modular storage is less complex, and you can't like do auto crafting and stuff uh, while you're just looking at things. You can't do like nested levels of crafting out of it. But to each his own. Um, I made a couple of more of these potion shelves like a while back and I haven't filled them yet so they're ready to put potions in whenever I get them out of those loot bags I will probably have to make an entire another set of those racks on the other side over here I kinda like the way that looks like I mentioned uh, several episodes ago I just need to randomize them so that like we don't have this big chunk of the same color of potions like this right here or that one uh, I'd like them to be a lot more random kinda like these two shelves here it just makes them, I guess, look more appealing. I don't know. I'm probably never going to use any of these potions. Either. So. And also some of them are like harm splash potions and poison and slowness and stuff like that. So. Anyway. Let me know if you guys want to see what comes out of these as I do that. Or if I just, uh, you just want me to clear this out and get rid of them. Um, otherwise... I was growing redstone. I put a couple of extra redstone seeds in my uh, magical crops farm over there. And then I came over here to check out the mob farm when it was like past full. And I had like two rows of redstone in this chest. Because I forgot that there's mobs that drop redstone. Yeah. So I got a ton of redstone now. And that's all being stored over here. Yeah, it's like almost 5,000. I'm also putting glowstone here. A um, bunch of sugar. That's, I think, going downstairs. I'm putting the extra stuff out of this ender cake farm right there. The ender cake generator. A uh, couple of eggs from, like, random chicken jockeys that spawn. And then sticks and chests go right there. Next to all our other wood and tree stuff. And then we have iron that's just going to go right there because I use a lot of it. Okay, now then, back to what I was talking about. So this entire system here is starting to back up and quickly. Like right now it's totally frozen because uh, the ender conduits are full. The tanks have fluids that can't be exported and the ranchers are all like full of a different kind of fluid so uh, let's go ahead and make two ender chests pretty sure I've memorized the recipe for these now and my phone's going off um, Twitter cool nothing super important just Wait a minute, do I need... I uh, put away those two chests. There's a couple of uh, upload notifications. Alright, so two ender chests. I need to color code these. I'm not sure what I want to color code them. Let's do like... I don't know. Gold, white, gold. It doesn't really matter. white purple cyan what if I got a bunch of pink I could just do three pink whoops let's just do six so let's drop these both down they're currently defaulted to triple white which is our cobblestone chest so you can see the cobblestones and they all open at the same time so we're gonna do like so totally empty Knock that one off. Knock that one off. We're going to set up one. I'll probably put it right on top of that one. Right there. You can still... Okay, good. As long as you can still open them both. That's totally fine. 
The other one is going to go over here where this diamond chest is. But before I move this one, uh, can I get that with a dolly? Does anybody know? I think you might be able to. Get ready for a crash, just in case. Got it. Now that is a full chest right there. Okay, this one I'm going to set it up on top of the system whenever I get the caches built. Caches. Bam. So this should start filling up now. Awesome. Uh, we're going to need to make 10 caches. So there's 12 different fluids here. And I'm only going to make 10 caches, and here's why. So you start with 12, and then subtract one because I'm missing the Pokefinium cow. So you're down to 11. And then you subtract another one because uh, pig iron ingots are not being made into blocks. So now we're down to 10. And I will make an 11th one whenever we get a Pokefinium cow back, just so I have storage space for that. But we do not. So here is the full total process of making 10 caches. You start with uh, oak wood, put 10 around it to make regular caches, and then around regular caches you put invar, and we gotta do these one at a time apparently because they don't stack. And this is the kind of stuff I mostly do off camera, is just building very repetitive things like this for either storage or decoration or whatever and also the kind of stuff I did on stream alright so now that we have 10 hardened caches we go up to hardened glass to make them reinforced and this might be overkill but I want to have a lot of storage for these because uh, I get a lot of blocks in there and I don't want to have to continually take them down and reset them alright so now we have 10 reinforced caches and then we put in dirium mess that up a little bit there we go to make resonant caches now those hold 640,000 items so I should not have to worry about those at all going to shift click them out of the crafting table to be faster. I wish these stacked when they were empty, but they don't. They do not stack at all. Okay, now we're going to set these up on top of the dust cache. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I have 10 of these. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to move these over one space. And I'll do it later. Alright, so let's get rid of that torch. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. And I'm going to have to move this chest maybe up a space. And then I'm going to need like 11 or so item conduits. Where do I have some of those? I guess I can start using these transfer pipes again. I stopped using these in a lot of places recently but I guess I can use them. So we're gonna put pipe there. I don't want you to connect to this chest. I might have to put a cover right there so it doesn't start inputting things into that ender chest. And I should have covers right here like that are these also connecting to the bottom? no, okay that's what I thought now do I have to shift click here there we go can still open the chest not connected to the pipe perfectly fine 
and then I'm gonna put this ender chest I can set it right here um, actually that needs to be the node so let's go under here I hate having to shift click like this oh it's not gonna go because the covers there now it wants to take up a little bit more space than it has alright now we're gonna put the cover back on there take out the stuff that doesn't need to be in there put it back where it goes alright now these are gonna start auto exporting to random caches for two, for three, for four, okay iron, alright I'm just gonna let those go uh, where's my stack upgrade? I think it's right here. Yeah. That will make this process quite a bit faster. I don't really care what order they're in. I do wish the lighting was a little better. Let's see, if I drop a torch like right here. The item yeah they like lighten and darken depending on where you're standing kinda weird I wish they would stay lit up like that but yeah anyway that should be all ten of the items that we need elementium and manilion will be here at the end somewhere when it gets around to it, there we go. And one more. There we go. Alright, there's all ten. Now, let's grab the dolly. I'm going to knock this chest out and put our diamond chest from before on here. While the ender chest over at the cow place gets filled up with whatever's over there right now we can actually watch it work a little bit it's a pretty fast system the ingots kinda just blink and they're gone those look like they're all done these over here are still working but while these are processing and filling the ender chest we are emptying the diamond chest that we had there let's see if I can't help this out a little bit grab all these shiny ones in you go I'll just start at the bottom and work my way up elementium is back this way ardite Enderium down here. Uh, bronze. Been using a lot of bronze lately, so I'm glad to have the cow for that. I don't have to continually make bronze. Silver. This one? Yeah. And it's pulling all the alumite by itself. Alright, so knock that back out put the ender chest back where it was good to go now we have fully stored all those blocks and these are at about seven eight between well, like eight hundred or so each I guess whenever the rest of those over there get finished except iron uh, I pulled a bunch of iron blocks back over here so let's dump these out where they're supposed to go there we go 970 iron that's the first cow I made so no surprise that it's fairly full tin aluminum copper and gold okay so those are the blocks of metals I'm getting from the smeltery uh, that I don't have cows auto producing so that's why I've got them over there and I had like a couple of lead blocks and I broke them down because I was using a lot of lead okay so let's 
check up on the farm here. I've been knocking out a lot of this periodically. Getting a ton of Zavisio essences. Oh yeah, let's see. Supposedly, well I know you can because I checked it. If I take off, like, the armor starting to break here, if I take off a piece of the armor and I say go to the anvil and give it a piece of Zavisio essence, it repairs. Let's see, we're at 2848 and one essence is enough to get it back to full. But I wanted to try in the um, tool forge, like we did with the safari nets last episode. Okay, that does not work. So you can't repair anything like that. Can I rename that, I wonder? Yeah, I totally can. So you can, re you can rename anything for free in the tool station, but not repairs. Good to know. Put that back. Is my frame rate dropping a little bit? Move that up to like 80. Yeah, okay. Ah, okay, that relieves the backup here. I also switched out the um, thermal expansion pipes over here with the Ender IO pipes. They're working perfectly fine. I put them on both sides of the tank. So yeah, exporting lava from the crucibles into this tank as a buffer out of the tank to the magma dynamos. Those are all powering these energy cells which are going through the tesseract to everything else including that which doesn't run very often but it does. So I think one of the next things I'm going to do, I'm going to start working on the draconium armor and kind of working on the AE system in my spare time. Um, whenever I get bored doing other stuff because it's more or less a challenge and the weird thing is um, there's items let me see like at there's a bunch of items in this mod that I cannot find in the NEI system or like anywhere uh, so I have to go to like wikis to find the items like there's a uh, creation core and an annihilation core, something like that. They don't appear in this list anywhere. This should be all the items for Applied Energistics 2. So there's all like the storage cells. There's, there's the encoded pattern, but there's no blank pattern. I had to go look up on a wiki the uh, crafting recipe for blank patterns. Um, I mean all kinds of stuff so it's been a lot of back and forth let me look in here real quick um, okay I thought I had them in here I think I made screens or panels out of them already so the recipe for the panel but if I type the word let me see panel Okay, that does show up. Use. Okay, these right here. Formation core and annihilation core. If I hit R to show the recipe, it shows the recipe, right? But if I'm looking for it in the NEI, right, that's from AE2. It should be in the list, but it wasn't. If I type in formation, like formation core, it's not here next page previous page this is it there's six items here and it's none of these so the item ID 4132 4132 not there uh, just the word core like I did a minute ago it's nowhere in any of these items there's the coalescence core and the diffusion core for thomic energistics but not the applied energistics ones these are like the cross-platform um, 
what do you call it, like between mods. It's to go from one mod to the other. From uh, Thaumaturgy to Applied Energistics. It's to go from magic to technology. It's like an interface uh, go between items. But anyway, so a lot of the recipes for the items to make stuff here were not in the NEI. Um, so I had to basically go to wikis, look up how to build the items, come back, put them together, stuff like that. So just like I think the a while ago whenever I updated, yeah, uh, whenever I updated to 251, the recipe for the tanks, those tanks there, it's not here. Those tanks don't exist in the NEI, but you can still make them because I made a few after that. As long as you know the recipe for these, you can make them, but they're not in the NEI. So you wouldn't even know they're in the mod pack. <laughs> it's like, okay, open blocks, right? There's a bunch of open blocks items, including trophies, magical chocks, paint cans, glasses, all kinds of things, but the tank's not there. So yeah, it's doing the same thing with a couple of mods, apparently. And Applied Energistics is one of them. So, anyway, still working on it, not giving up on it, but if anybody has pointers, if anybody knows where the heck that uh, allow substitutions toggle thing is, let me know. It's something to do with the crafting deal, but I can't find it. I found it, took everything apart, put it back together, and now I can't find it. Is it here? Ignore contents of inventory, show or hide interface terminal, priority settings. No, I don't know. There's somewhere where it allows you to... Give me that. I just stuck a panel on the back of there backwards. Uh, it says allow substitutions, and it'll help me make these things easy again. But until then, I'm kind of screwed. Anyway, so I want to work on the Draconic Evolution Wavern Armor. Uh, it's supposed to be an upgrade to this stuff, the Zvicio. It's supposed to be better. I don't know in what regard it's better. I don't even know if it lets you fly or anything. But uh, since I killed the Ender Dragon and we got all those... Where did I put them? I got a ton of the... There they are. Draconium Dust to make ingots out of. I think I've got plenty to make um, all the ingots to make all the stuff for that armor. Or at least a couple of pieces of it. I don't know. But if that's not enough, you can get draconium ore dust from hammering in stone, which is why I made this system over here a long time ago. And we're over 30,000 in stone. So I might start breaking some of that down on camera in a couple of episodes. It's still running. I'm almost out of sandstone, actually. I might have to turn this system off and let it catch back up on sandstone. Yeah, it's a little bit behind. Anyway, but uh, I have it set up to where whenever it runs out of sandstone, then uh, the Molten Enderium, w or the Resonant Ender, I mean, I keep getting those two mixed up, the Resonant Ender will form a block in here, and the block will be exported into its own cache right here. So I've got 175 in there. I can always melt this back down in the smeltery to get the fluid back out of it into another tank, and then put the tank over here to, you know, uh, go back through the system and make more in stone. So that's just temporary storage of the um, molten ender, resonant ender stuff, just to keep the system running. But anywho, I guess that's about all I wanted to do this episode. Um, for those of you that were not in the stream a couple of times ago and missed out on my trip to the inn to kill the inn dragon, Oh, there's seven more caves. Let me go to the end real quick. Let me grab a Eye of Ender. So the way these cakes work, when you put them down, when you have it in your inventory, first of all, it looks like a full cake. But whenever you place it down, it's not a full cake, it's just this last slice. And when you click on it, nothing happens. If you, well, this is right clicking. If you left click, it'll break it. So you don't want to do that. You get an Eye of Ender, and you click on it with that, it'll add a slice of cake. And let me check my inventory. 
Uh, I don't want to take unnecessary stuff just in case. There we go. Weapons and tools and food. All right. So once it actually has a slice added to it, you right click and it'll take you to the end. And it will give you a platform. There's the platform. It spawns you on top of a platform of obsidian so you don't have to worry about falling to your death while your world loads. But when you get in here, there's nothing in here but these pillars that the um, crystal things are on top of, a whole ton of endermen camping out on top of those, and the dragon flying around. So you got your entire ender dragon fight out here. There's some kind of visual bug type thing if you see that. See it looks like there's something floating in the air between these two towers. But when I get closer it moves further away. It's like right here. Some kind of visual bug, I don't know. Anyway, but I uh, killed the Ender Dragon. Here's my exit portal. I went ahead and marked it. Got the egg. The egg is, of course, back uh, at my world spawn location in the overworld. So I wanted to show you guys there's really nothing here. I might make an Enderman farm. Ooh, left some experience here. Uh, might make an Enderman farm out here somewhere, knock down these pillars and stuff, because I can vein miner this obsidian out of the way. Oh, really? Somebody's mad at me? Like, what are you going to do? Teleport over the void? Ooh, that's loud. Not video. Uh, music and sounds. Turn that down. Anyway, uh, I might make an Enderman farm out here or something. But I don't really need it. I can, um, I think set these guys up to spawn on top of a tinker smeltery if I make a small one and start sending the molten ender that they melt down into back to the overworld in place of those cows but um, I've already got more than enough of the resonant ender so I don't even really have to do that plus I get random endermen in my mob farm so I don't even need them for ender pearls if they drop anything else I'm not quite sure but anything they drop, I would already have in my mob farm in the overworld. So, yeah. Oh, I was going to check. Dark clouds. These make rain, don't they? I'm going to start collecting clouds. Can I vein miner with my hand? Probably not. Nope. Okay. Causes lightning strikes. Um, I wonder if that can charge creepers. Hmm. I guess we'll find out at some point. Anyway, I'm going to start gathering clouds and just sticking them somewhere. I don't know. Maybe make a cloud fort. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. But uh, I want to start like putting different kinds of clouds in places for stuff. Because there's like two kinds of clouds here, I think. Unless there's just regular and dark. And in the overworld, there's regular clouds. In the nether, there's sulfur and the charcoal clouds. So there's more than a few kinds. If you guys have any ideas for those, let me know. But yeah, that's pretty much this episode. Um, just giving you an update on the work that I have done. Oh, that actually moves? I didn't know this was animated. I've never like stopped and stared at the exit portal. Oh yeah, look at the, uh, the Wayla at the top of the screen. It says, unnamed block, report to mod author. <laughs> for the exit portal. In you go. Anyway, till next time guys. Uh, have a good day and I will see you later.